This is how I made the best biltong I've ever had in my life. First I went to the butcher and got some really nice steaks with a bit of fat on them. I then toasted the coriander and the peppercorn seeds to get all the essential oils out and ground them up in a mortar and pestle. You then take uh, Worcestershire sauce and vinegar in equal parts, mix them together and douse your steaks in them. After that you add the salt and the spices and you just give it a good old mix together. Uh, wrap it in cling film, put it in the fridge, let it sit for 24 to 36 hours and once that's done you can whack it in your biltong box which in my case is just a plastic tub with some netting on top. Um, I also use a bit of a fan heater just to get, get it going and just to keep them at a, at a nicest temperature because it's a bit cold in Portugal at the moment. And then after three to four days, they're done, ready to eat. Mm. It's delicious. The best part is the fat. Mm. Unbelievable. Subscribe if you want to see Connor eat a whole stick of that biltong. <laughs>